Welcome to Behind the Scenes. Today, we'll go behind the scenes of manufactured housing to discover the real story. We'll take you to a manufacturing facility to actually see homes being built and hear from the people who build them. Our reporter will examine their quality and energy efficiency from the inside out. You'll learn about home options and hear from actual homeowners. So join us as we uncover the facts about manufactured homes on today's edition of Behind the Scenes. This home is substantially less than what we had been paying in our conventional home. And this is something that's ours, and it's a home. I don't want to have to live for a house payment. I want to be able to have a life, too. I'm Maya Flores. If you've ever wondered why so many people are buying homes that were built in a factory instead of homes built on site, this program will reveal the answers. We've all seen manufactured homes, but we may not have even realized it. Manufactured simply refers to how the home was built. The materials used in manufactured homes are the same as those used in traditionally built homes. Sturdy 2x4 or 2x6 construction, fiberglass insulation, vinyl siding, shingles, energy efficient windows and doors, and lots more. Manufactured homes are made with the same quality materials. But there are differences. We went behind the scenes to see what makes a manufactured home different from a site-built home. Unlike homes built on site, manufactured homes are built entirely in a factory. This may sound a little strange at first, but we quickly discovered that there are many benefits to building a home in a factory. The factory building process is efficient, and that's no accident. Experts tell us it was designed that way. This process saves two things that we all love to save, time and money. If you had to just take one shelf at a time, you, you couldn't do it near as fast. But when I cut them, I try to cut it more than just one, one cabinet at a time. I go through and I look at my orders and see how many cabinets I got of the same thing every day, then I go and cut them all at once. So how does the factory building process save time? Here's what we discovered. First, since the home is built under controlled factory conditions, there are no weather delays. No rain, wind, or extreme temperatures hamper the building process or cause potential damage to the material. Second, the factory is the ideal environment for home construction, a strategically planned and controlled process. The home itself moves through the factory, stopping at different areas to complete each phase of the construction process. There's no time wasted moving materials or tools, or even workers for that matter. The home visits each area for its designated stage of the construction process. Third, homeowners tell us they spend less time waiting anxiously for their new home to be built. The time frame for a new manufactured home is measured in weeks, not months. Everybody uh, does the same job continuously so they can get very, very good at it. Uh, site builders build, what, three or four or five, six, seven uh, homes a year. I do that more in one week. And as they say, time is money. When builders' time is spent more efficiently, buyers save on the cost of their home. We discover that money is also saved in material costs. Lumber, insulation, shingles, siding, appliances, and other building materials are purchased for several homes at once and used as needed. Buying in larger quantities is a sure way to save money. This is certainly no exception. Building in a factory also saves money because there are no weather-damaged materials to replace. When building on site, materials are usually stored outdoors in the elements. Factories can store the lumber, insulation, shingles, siding, all the materials for a new home in a controlled indoor environment. Of course, the money saved is reflected in the cost of the new manufactured home. Although the materials used in manufactured homes are the same as materials used in most site-built homes, Manufactured homeowners save because the construction process is more efficient. Let's take a short break right now. When we return, we'll go with Tom Erickson inside a manufactured home factory to see how the homes are built. But first, here's a behind the scenes trivia question. The cost in dollars per square foot for a manufactured home is less than the cost for a site built home. But how much less? Is it A, 10%, B, 
B, 25%, or C, 40%? We'll have the answer for you when we come back. Don't go away. Welcome back. Did you have an answer to our behind the scenes trivia question? Here's the question again. The cost in dollars per square foot for a manufactured home is less than the cost for a site built home. But how much less? Is it A, 10%, B, 25%, or C, 40%? The answer is C. A manufactured home can cost as much as 40% less to construct than a traditional site built home. Joining me now is behind-the-scenes field reporter Tom Erickson. Hi, Maya. Tom, just recently you took our cameras behind the scenes of a home building factory to see this factory construction process up close. Tell us what you found. Well, if you've never seen the inside of a manufactured home factory before, you may be in for a surprise. I know I was. What I found was a well-organized crew of professionals working together. It's really a team approach. That's one of the most important things, teamwork. If you got a group of guys that work together, that's a we say here piece of cake to work, enjoy, come to work. Teamwork is extremely important. Uh, without teamwork, we couldn't build a product. The construction of the homes is done in phases. Each phase is completed in a different area of the factory by a specialized team. For example, the workers in the first area construct the floor and walls of the home using equipment and tools designed to best accomplish this phase of the building process. I am assembling the frames for the front of the cabinet. To me, there's a real sense of satisfaction in being able to put something together where I don't have any crack in the gap, and it's good quality wood showing through. So that's satisfaction for me. Once all the tasks within one area are complete, the home moves to another area of the factory. Each area has its own team of craftsmen and women specially trained for the tasks at hand. Everyone wants to live in a home that they're happy with. So to me, that's, I take pride in everything I do here with my job. And if people need help, I'll help them out because we're all a team and you need a team to get a house like this going out the door, it looks good. There are obvious and not so obvious benefits of constructing a home in a factory. Let's take a look. At one end, quality materials are delivered and stored in a safe, dry environment. Modern handling equipment and storage systems are an important part of the building process. Under the factory's roof, fresh building products are stored, ready to be assembled into a quality home. The shelves are always full, so there are no delays caused by lack of materials, lumber, windows, siding, and appliances. Virtually every part of the home stands ready to take its proper place in the construction process. The base of the manufactured home is solid. It's a firm and reliable support for a home placed in a land lease community or on private property in a subdivision or country site. Every floor is built on a fixture that ensures the home will be perfectly square. And each floor serves as the support for a home that can be over 2,000 square feet in size. Manufactured homes are built in one, two, or occasionally three sections, offering a wide range of possible floor plans. We did a lot of options. We made a lot of requests. and the Every request that we did was filled. Windows changed, windows added. Our kitchen is 100% carpeted, no questions. Added a window in the bathroom, no question. Put up an extra wall. Well, sure we can, and they can. They can do anything you want. All you gotta do is make the suggestion if you have uh, something that you want changed in them. When you're buying your home, uh, they'll certainly try to do it. If they can't, 